Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be on FM. Uh, I already made several videos on that frequency modulation. Every time I explore a different block uh, that is there in Guru Radio, I try to make a video on it. Uh, I think previous couple of videos that I made on FM, I think the last video that I uploaded was actually a comparison between frequency modulation and phase modulation. And I think previously I used my RTLSDR dongle and tried to capture the signal using RTLSDR and using GQRX to actually demodulate the signal. Then I think I already made a video on FM where I use VCO, uh, voltage control oscillator to generate FM. This video is going to be a simulation for an entire uh, FM transmitter and a receiver. As you can clearly see in this flow graph, as you can clearly see in this flow graph, uh, I'm exploring two different blocks that is available in GNU Radio, and one is known as Wideband FM Transmit, and the other block that is known as Wideband FM Receive. So these are the two blocks that we're going to use. We're gonna take a wave file, we're gonna transmit that wave file, and we're gonna send it through our virtual sync. From that virtual sync, we're gonna receive that, and then we're gonna try to actually model a medium uh, using a noise source, Gaussian noise source, sort of like added a white Gaussian noise. And this is being added to my signal. So basically what I'm trying to simulate here is that to simulate the environment that I'm, I'm uh, when I receive my signal, I also receive noise. And this noise will be demodulated using a WBFM receive block. And this multiply constant block is there is just to increase the volume and then I'll be listening to this on my audio sync, which is my laptop. So this is the basic idea. So this, this flow graph is basically generating an F, entire FM transmit transmitter, implementing an entire FM transmitter and an entire trans, uh, receiver. Uh, I'll be monitoring this using both GUI sync for a uh, transmitter site where I'll be transmitting this file, which is just going to be an audio file. You can just download any WAV file. So I just simply downloaded this WAV file uh, wave file so you can download any file you want all right let me walk you through the block uh, wideband FM transmit uh, this is the block that is available here just simply type in FM and you will find this WBM wideband FM transmit block now uh, uh, two things you can set any sample rate you want I have chosen a sample rate of two mega samples uh, this file was captured using two mega samples because it's there that's why I'm using two mega samples, but you can use any other sample. One mega sample is perfectly fine. We'll see, we can see the effect of that. Then the next thing is audio rate. Audio rate is the one that is going to dictate uh, uh, the audio rate which is available in your WB, WBFM transmit block. So this is generally, audio rate is generally around 48 kilohertz because this is the audio rate that is available in my audio sync. You can also choose this to be 44.1 kilohertz but I have normally choose 48. I tried with 44.1 kilohertz and it doesn't matter. So let's just keep the number straight. Let's have it uh, uh, 48 kilohertz. So this is the first block. Your signal is coming in. This is the signal that I want to transmit. So you have audio rate, then you have quadrature rate. Quadrature may, rate means basically you're multiplying whatever your audio rate is with four times of that. So that turns out to be 192 kilohertz. Tau is exactly the same. Uh, this is by default when you drop and drag and drop this block. Let me just show you anyhow. So the default block is uh, about uh, the tau value is about 75 uh, e to the negative 6. So we're going to leave that as is. Maximum deviation generally for FM when you're transmitting it in the air is about 75 kilohertz. So we're going to change this to 20 kilohertz. Uh, let me just delete this block, uh, erase this block. So all the rest of the values are same, all right? Then it's going into a rational resampler. Uh, I'm just interpolating it by 10. So my sample rate is going to be now 20 megahertz. Uh, that's what the interpolation do. And then it's going into a virtual sync. Now this virtual sync is acting as uh, your USRP or your hack RF or any device. Now this signal is being transmitted. At the same time, also monitoring this using GUI sync. GUI sync comprises of uh, your uh, constellation block, your waterfall graph, and, and things like that. Now, 
since I'm using virtual sync as a transmitter, this the being is, is this is being transmitted, and you have a virtual source on the other hand. So I add it to depict the noise in a environment. I'm using a noise source which is Gaussian source. So this is being added along with whatever the signal that is being transmitted is coming in as a receiver. That's why I have a virtual source. Virtual source is acting as a receiver. Imagine this is hack RF and this is being your uh, RTLSDR dongle. Then the signal is being added. This signal amplitude is being controlled by an amp, this, this GUI range block. The signal is added. Whatever the signal that which is being uh, a rational resampler used to interpolate that's this signal, this is sort of like an amplifier. Think of it like an amplifier, like a low uh, power amplifier type of a thing. I'm using rational resampler. Now I'm also decimating this as well. So I interpolate it by 10 and I'm decimating by 10. So this is basically one to one ratio now. It's because my I uh, at the transmitting side, I interpolate by 10 and at the receiving side, I'm, I'm decimating it by 10. So my sample rate is exactly the same. Now. W byte FM receive will also have a quadrature rate and the audio decimation. Since I have, since I have right here, uh, quadrature rate was audio rate times four, which is 190 kilohertz. When you decimate this, so 192, 192 kilohertz divided by four will give you 48 kilohertz, which is the audio rate that I want, which is which is needed for my audio sync. Now this multiply constant block is just a constant value. I can also control it with my QT range block. This is basically an amplitude. How high my volume, sort of like a volume control. It is like a volume control, acting as a volume control. Then it's going into an audio sync and I can hear the sound. So let me run this flow graph now and let's see what is the effect of this. So I hope you understand this, basically the entire simulation of your FM signal and let me just run this. Now, as you can see, let me just turn off the amplitude of my noise. All right, this is what is being transmitted. This is the waterfall graph. This is the waterfall graph. This is the time. Limit. So using a GUI sync, let me just turn off the volume. Using the GUI sync, um, it allows you to have frequency, waterfall, time domain, constellation, uh, diagram, displays all at once. So you don't have to worry about, you know, uh, changing the position of that using a GUI hint block or things like that. So now let me just, let's have this frequency block and let's try to introduce noise into our system. Let's see what will happen to my spectrum. As you can clearly see now my spectrum is going away as I increase the amplitude, you can also see the sound as well. Let me turn on the sound. By having an amplitude of my Gaussian source to be two, you can hardly hear and that can change a little bit more. You can also see the similar effect. You can also see a similar effect on, on my waterfall graph as well. You can still hear the sound. Music. Music. I can still see hear the signal, but now I cannot hear anything because my amplitude of my noise is much higher. Now the entire signal that is this is the same part, now it's gone. My tiny moon is gone. You can still see it. Now when I remove noise, I can start hearing my signal again. And you can start seeing the peak of my signal again. So basically this is just to give you an idea that how you can simulate a noise source in an FM environment, how you can make an entire system using GNU radio, using two blocks only, uh, two main blocks, a uh, wideband FM a transmit and a wideband FM receive. So this is how you can actually make a uh, simulate an entire system. Let me just turn off the uh, noise source and now you can hear your signal clearly so this is the this is the way you can actually simulate an entire system using the radio uh, if you guys have any questions uh, just leave it in the comment section and please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching